I'm here at the location of the old shop and I've got some of my toys here, the X3, that's the uh, Jet Power 1000. That boat is a Catch Power 100 actually, with, like this one here. This is a prototype boat. It has a transom on the back. These boats are meant to have some sort of power, like not a jet engine, but more like something like this, a trolling motor or electric motor or tiny gas motor perhaps. Here, you can see I've got one, and the problem that I'm having with this catch power is that it's a prototype boat. This is one of the very first models that Pelican created and sent to me for testing and stuff. The seat has been upgraded for the final version and this and that. Anyways, I can't register this boat because it's a prototype. So that means in Florida, I can't really put any power on it. I can't attach a motor to the transom. So, unfortunately, it's uh, kind of destined to be destroyed. Before that though, I'm not quite done with this. I'm gonna make a few modifications to this so that I can get around that registration loop uh, problem that uh, some of us might have. You might have it if you have a boat and don't have a title and don't know how to register it, right? So. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of you probably are not going to like this modification, so uh, in advance, I apologize. Moving the seat was only the first part. Next thing to do was to move the track. And you know what's kind of nice about having disposable boats is that there's no fear. I can just drill holes wherever I want. And I get that, so I don't expect everybody out there to be crazy with modifications. However, one of the things that I've learned over the years from playing with Pelican boats is not to be afraid. Because many, many times when you make modifications to your boat, you wind up being happy. Over here in my bag of tricks, I've got some other parts, which, you know, may or may not work. <laughs> Come what may, even if I never ever got a free boat again in my life, I would still make modifications to boats. It's awesome to have something unique, and I have a warehouse full of them. Many remnants from cool projects. Things that made me have no regrets. Now the other prototype boat I have over here was going to lend me some uh, bits and pieces <laughs> that would help make this boat uniquely mine. Because there's nothing wrong with putting a little bling on your projects. <laughs> Now the next thing for this prototype boat was to rig it up for a day of fishing. But I knew that I was going to be turning this into a rowboat which would really benefit from having some sort of rudder on it to increase its tracking ability. Fortunately, with my help, Pelican is starting to offer all kinds of accessories, like a rudder that you can just bolt onto their boats or a transom mount, or any number of accessories. It kind of reminds me when I first got a motorcycle after moving to Florida. It was a Kawasaki Drifter, 2001. Awesome looking bike. It had nothing that you could buy anywhere to add to it. No saddlebags, no double seat, no windshield, nothing. Pelican is being more like Harley Davidson, which you could buy any number of accessories for Harley Davidson. It used to be that only people like myself with boats laying around had access to such things. But nowadays, if you go to Pelican's website, they have all kinds of stuff that you can buy. Like stickers, dry bags, and anchors, and rudder cables, you name it. Enough to satisfy the needs of even the most eccentric DIY guy. Here on my Pelican kayak, if you need uh, a place to put your rods per se, no problem. These boats come with tracks. Inside those tracks, you can add any number of things. Rod holders, cup holders, rocket launcher style rod holders. I mean, the sky's the limit. Plus in the back, you can see I've got my camera mount there.
because now it's time to put this monstrosity in the water and see how this is going to work. I really am a lucky guy to have such a beautiful place to test my boats. First thing I noticed when I got on the boat here is that it's uh, a little bit wonky because I'm sitting up near the bow. If you decide to do this to your power with 100, uh, be aware that the front of this boat is V-shaped and is a little more tippy than the back of the boat, which is flat. Also, if you're going to put oars on your boat, you got to look over your shoulder all the time. But what was nice about this boat was that digging two paddles at a time made it go really, really fast. And it's good exercise. Maybe someday I'll look like this guy. <laughs> yeah, probably not. But, you know, oh well. Well, this is not nearly as good as paddling or pedaling. But it got me here. And now that I'm here, I got a hell of a platform to fish on. Well, this day I was on the water, I got myself some nice B-roll. But the fish were not cooperating. It was a beautiful day. I enjoyed my time spent on the water. But this video was not destined to have any fish in it. What can you say? Sometimes, you know, a day on the water is successful if you're trying to fish. And some DIY projects are successful if you're trying to, uh, you know, be clever. <laughs> And uh, sometimes neither one of them really work out. Although, I must say, digging two paddles at once really made this thing sizzle across the water. Well, the main thing that I learned from this project, I think, is that I prefer a paddle, a kayak paddle, to oars. I mean, it was fun and all, but, you know, looking over my shoulder and uh, Pelican was right to design this for either just a regular paddle or a motor. So, I don't know. I think the future of this boat is uh, pretty bleak. That's okay. I got a lot of other projects and things to play with, including uh, this canoe over here. Yes, sir. I've been having fun outfitting this thing and fishing from it. And um, yeah, I'll have some videos about that in the future, as well as the Power 1000, which is no longer with me. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm trying to purge and get rid of some stuff. I still haven't gotten rid of my Monaco, which is sitting here getting dusty. What a sad state. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed this little fun video. Be sure there'll be more coming in the future. Catch you later. You ready to go home, Pop? Hmm?